Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a very fun video. It is going to be about updating my tortoise enclosure. He is still a baby so he's pretty small, about that big, but we have him in a 10 gallon tank and it obviously is not that great for a tortoise that is going to continue to grow over the years. We are also changing the bottom. Um, he had like a felt mat like just um, that goes inside the cage and we are going to put in some substrate. We got this from Petco. Eco Earth, compressed coconut fiber, it expands to about seven to eight liters per um, block. And there is about three blocks of substrate in here. And we are also going to mix that with forest floor bedding blend. So the direction says to add four quarts of water and um, put one brick inside the water. Okay, let's get started. I got this, which um, has a little measurements on the side right here. I'll be back, let me go get the water. <laughs> set your timer for 20 to 30 minutes. I am going to just go for 30 so it's completely soaked. Set your timer. Start. And it is going. This is how much substrate two bricks make. And I am certain that it is not enough for the enclosure that I got him. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put in the third brick of substrate. So I'm going to go right there. There's still a lot of water. Let me dump all so I am going to use a full pack of three br bricks of expandable coconut fiber substrate. Okay, it's going to wait another 30 minutes. This doesn't seem like a lot. Okay, now that I already have all the compressed coconut fiber expanded, and it just looks like dirt now. It is time to add some cypress mulch. And I got the forest floor again, forest floor bedding, which is great for tortoises as well as snakes. So I'm gonna blend that in, mainly coconut fiber with a touch of forest floor mulch. It is still a little damp, but I did check and make sure that it's okay for me to put this in my tortoise enclosure because my tortoise is still a baby and growing and he needs moisture in around his skin. So it is okay for a baby tortoise, but if you have an adult, it will be better to dry this out in the sun. I am going to add some and then mix it and see how it is. Okay, I added about that much right now. I'm gonna mix it and see if it's okay. Maybe about half the bag should be fine. Don't wanna put the whole bag though. 
Okay, this is becoming a lot more. It's probably enough for my tortoise enclosure. And it is a lot of substrate. My enclosure is four by two. So I need quite a bit of substrate so I could at least have a couple of inches for my tortoise to dig if he wants to. And it's going to be my tortoise's first time in soil. He has been in grass before and he loved it, but this is his first time that he's going to be in soil by itself. So I really hope that he enjoys it more than his current tank. Because I am really trying to give him the happiest life that he could get. And this is his new enclosure. I found it on 5 miles. This um, was originally a storage box, but it already had the mesh wire on top. So it was a lot easier just to use it as a enclosure. This one has a tray on the bottom. And I decided to take the tray out and cover it with a trash bag. I had to cut the sides of the trash bag to make it into a rectangle to fit the bottom tray. Okay, this was John's first enclosure. It's a 10 gallon tank. And he usually likes to hide under here. There he is. I mean, he still has room because he's so tiny, but his new enclosure, look at the difference. It is huge and a lot longer. This poor kid is eating. And now my sweet little baby, it's time for a little bath. This is how big he is compared to my hand. He's still pretty small. But he's gonna take a little bath for 15 minutes. Some nice warm water for him while he eats some nubs. My sweet little baby. I'm gonna wet his shell a little bit. It should be safe um, with the black trash bag on the bottom. He's still small, so. He's not really trying to chew on things, and I'm gonna put the dirt high enough to cover most of it. But if you use a black trash bag, make sure you um, keep an eye out on your tortoise. Just make sure that they don't try to mess with the plastic or chew on it, and if they do, just automatically take it out. Later, I'm gonna change the plastic for a pond lining which is a lot thicker and would help a lot better. So it is okay for the soil to be a little moist, but it shouldn't be dripping wet. So that's why I am squeezing out the excess water out of the soil, at least as much as I can, so that it's just a little damp, but not too wet. And eventually it'll dry up on its own anyway.
Okay, Jambu's first time playing in the dirt. Let's see if this cute little baby likes it. How big he is. Let's watch him go. We got Jambu September 28th, 2019. And we believe he was a couple weeks old when we got him. So he is around two months right now. Tank comparison. And his new clicks. My sweet Coco keeps trying to check up on him to make sure that he's safe and sound and enjoying his new place. I am going to get him a bigger water dish and also a dish for his salad. But he's going right for the food right now. I am also going to add some rocks in this corner over there as a bathroom spot around there. And I can close it like this and add his little lamp on the side. I love his new setup. And I feel like I got super lucky finding it because it's not even a tortoise enclosure, but it is just so perfect. And he's already hiding. <laughs> He's getting a little bit there. He's already walking all over the place. That's awesome. He just has a little exhibit there. <laughs> a sulcata tortoise makes a great pet, but you really do have to make sure that you have enough room for him or her because they grow pretty big. They could be about 100 pounds, sometimes even bigger. It all depends on your tortoise. Some grow faster than others, but you just have to make sure you have enough space because eventually they are going to have to live outside. This is the most I've seen him walk around to and like explore. And it is also a huge commitment because they live very long and most times will outlive their owners if they are taken care of correctly.